This is the Canadian Taxpayers Federation podcast. We're dedicated to lower taxes, less waste, accountable government. I'm Chris Sims, Alberta Director. I'm here with my friends and colleagues, Franco. He's the federal director. He's in Ottawa. And James Wood, he's also in Ottawa. And he's our investigative journalist. Yeah, we've got one of those. And so you've been doing some investigating, James, into Charlottetown. And what's happening with our money there? Lots of waste, lots of strange shenanigans. What's going on? Yeah, basically, they're just they're just throwing money around like crazy over there. And it's not... Uh... Not going too well. Um, the best example we have is we pulled some records for this. There was this dinner in Quebec City where a delegation from Charlottetown had gone for a conference back in 2019. Now, they went, they used taxpayers' money to throw this very boozy dinner. Uh, 15 people went to a steakhouse in Quebec City during this conference, including council members and the Charlottetown mayor, Philip Brown. And they dropped over just over 1800 bucks on this, uh, this lovely meal for everyone there. Um, that was 15 people. Uh, that was a bar tab of one glass and four bottles of wine, uh, 11 beers, 20 ounces of liquor, and uh, three cocktails. Total bar bill of $459. Wow, that's insane. I, like, it m- must be just nice, hey? Just being one of those hardworking counselors or, or the mayor and just being able to booze it up on your boss's, the taxpayer's expense, must be nice. Yeah, I mean, like 1800 bucks on a boozy dinner, that's quite the tab. <laughs> um, now, the, the, here's the kicker. The city's own policies expressly forbid uh, staff and council members from using taxpayers' money to buy alcohol and liquor, that kind of thing. Like, it's literally written out. You shouldn't do this. They still and did it, though? They, yeah, they still did it, right? Like, it's just, guys, what are you doing? So when we ran this story, uh, folks in Charlottetown were rightly mad as hell. Um, a whole storm kicked up. Eventually, the mayor had to issue an apology and uh, say that something had gone wrong here. This was the exception to the policy. We should have done it, that kind of thing. Like, it'll, we swear it'll never happen again. Many apologies. We promise things will be different in the future. And on top of that, it was hilarious because after we ran the story, I put another request in for chatter between counselors on that topic. And when the emails came back, like they were just yelling at each other. They're like, oh, I wasn't, I wasn't at this dinner. I didn't go. Why this happened? What is this? We need to apologize. Oh my gosh. So just a complete mess. And it, just throw money around like crazy. Not yeah. doing too well. Say Charlotte That's down. ridiculous. So for folks who don't know, um, you can you can a tip or do a freedom information request to get emails between elected officials, including mm-hmm. city councilors here in Canada. And so that's what James is talking about. Is he was able to go, hey, what were they saying to each other after they started pointing fingers? And it sounds like it was pretty crazy. But what I don't understand is the sense of entitlement. I'll never for the life of me understand why bureaucrats and politicians feels like they can get away with spending our money in this way without somebody noticing. Now, you and I were talking about this a few days ago. Wasn't there some double dipping going on there as well? Yeah, like the, on top of the, the boozy bar bill and all that chaos, like at the actual conference, they were double dipping on their meal expenses in the first place. Um, that So at least 10 elected officials and the staff that went along, they billed taxpayers for five to six meals a day. Um, the meals are they were- hobbits five to six <laughs> meals a day? Yeah, Come yeah, on, right. second breakfast, 11 things, all that stuff. No, hey, look, like- hey, hold on a second. Hey, I gotta <laughs> stick up for, for people like to eat five, six, seven meals a day. Hey, I like it. I just don't expect my boss to be picking exactly. up all the tabs. Yeah, like in this case, the boss is the taxpayer and they're just throwing these bills at them to, to wild abandon. Um, the thing was, is that on the, the conference they went to, the cost of their tickets to go to the conference in the first place included meals. Like they didn't have to be expensing meals on top of their conference food. So they, but they went ahead and still did it. They submitted meal expenses. They submitted per DMs, all that stuff. The devil dipping built up to just over uh, $6,500. And in total, Charlottetown taxpayers for this one trip to, to Quebec City for this municipal conference, they paid over $42,000. That was the food, that was the lodging, and then the general expenses that they filed for this entire Quebec City trip. So not great. Not great to the Charlottetown. I think there's some pretty common sense answers you're going to give me here. But Jimbo, <laughs> what's the fix? I, I mean, you don't want to state the obvious because it's kind of cliche here, but, you know, don't do what you've been doing. Uh, <laughs> don't bill taxpayers for booze that you're not supposed to buy. Uh, don't uh, double up on your expenses, that kind of thing. Pretty simple stuff. Um, yep. <laughs> and like, like uh, the biggest fix here that could be done and the city's trying to do it on their own a little bit, but we've been advocating for this. 
the, the city, the provincial government, PEI, needs to go to Celia Shard Town and take a long, hard look at the way they're running the show over there. Take a look at the operations, the expense policies, all that kind of stuff, and get a handle on what's going on there, how that stuff even happened in the first place, and make sure it won't happen again. Because otherwise, uh, however long from now, we'll have the exact same story again. Agreed. You know, uh, city halls, city councillors and mayors have a lot of power. They have access to a lot of money and they don't have a heck of a lot of scrutiny. And so this is why we need things like municipal auditor generals across Canada that are constantly keeping an eye on the books. So, folks, um, if this is your jam and you want to read more about government fat cats and bureaucrats wasting your money on frivolous things like booze and fancy dinners in Quebec, uh, head up to our website, uh, taxpayer.com. You can read and weep all about it. Hi, I'm Scott Hennig, president of the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. If you've got another minute, I'd like to ask you to think about the one person you know that would really enjoy listening to this podcast. Do us a favor and do them a favor and send them a quick note to let them know about it. At the Canadian Taxpayers Federation, we believe there is power in numbers. That's why we've worked so hard to build an army of taxpayers who are ready to push back. And we did it because people like you shared our work with that one person that they knew would really appreciate taking part. Thanks for listening, and thanks for doing your part to make Canada a better place.